What is up you guys, it is Sumas45 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Android 5.1 Lollipop on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 model number GTP3110. Now, before we do this, I just want to give you guys a few warnings. One, this does not work with any other variants of the Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. This only works on the GTP3110, so do not test this out on any other model because you do run the risk of actually um, getting stuck in a boot loop or potentially breaking your Android device, which means potentially damaging your device internally or software based. So in case it does, I am not responsible for any of the damage that will happen to your tablet if that happens. And two installing a ROM is very um, very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing so be sure you follow all my instructions very carefully and make sure you back up your current ROM before installing this ROM just to make sure that in case anything bad happens you can always restore your current ROM and restore everything to the way it was before and then once you've done that and once you make sure um, you're aware of those two things, just keep those in mind while you're doing this and you should be uh, good to go. Okay, so before you do this, you will need to make sure one, that your tablet is rooted. To do that, just search on Google or on YouTube on how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 model number GTP3110. Search for any guide that can help you root this tablet. Make sure you follow their guide very carefully because, just like I said, you do run the risk of potentially breaking your Android device. And then once you make sure you've got it rooted, you will also need to make sure, too, that you have a custom recovery installed on your Android device. If you don't already have a custom recovery installed like Twerp or Clockwork Mod, be sure to check the link in the video description below on my tutorial video on how to install Twerp Recovery on this tablet without using a computer and once you make sure you got those two checked the first thing you want to do is one is to make sure that you've um, downloaded the two files that I left in the video description below one is for the ROM itself which is called Omni ROM and the other one and the second file is the G apps file which you will need to install all of the Google applications again because this ROM does not come with the Google applications and once you make sure you've downloaded those two files go ahead and turn off the tablet itself by pressing and holding on the power button and um, oh my guys I can't get my camera to focus and tapping on power off and just wait for the whole tablet to power off before you do anything else and then once you make sure it's off Press and hold on the power button and the volume up button at the same time. And once you get the Samsung logo, let go of the power button, but still hold on to the volume up button. And then once you get to this screen, just wait for um to just wait for the recovery to finish loading up. And then once you're up at this screen. The first thing you want to do is to make a, a backup of your current ROM so that, you know, like I said, in case anything bad happens, you can always restore your last ROM. So in case you haven't done that already, go to where it says backup and make sure the option system, data, boot, and recovery is selected. Don't mind the EFS and the cache. Just leave those alone. And you can always refresh the sizes just to make sure you know how much data it'll be using. And you can always change on and make sure you under storage that micro SD is selected in case you have a memory card on your tablet. Make sure that micro SD is selected and then tap OK. And then go ahead and swipe to back it up and wait for the whole backup to finish and once it does finish do not tap your system just keep going back and then go to where it says wipe then go ahead and swipe the factory reset go ahead and swipe on that and it will wipe all of your data on your internal storage nothing will be um, erased your photos shouldn't be deleted unless you put them in internal storage so make sure you back up any data that you had on your internal storage before wiping it because anything on your internal storage will get lost after wiping 
Then once you make sure you've done that and it wipes everything out, go to where it says install and then navigate to wherever you stored those two files. The first file you want to select is the ROM, which is called Omni-5.1, so on and so forth. Then tap on it, then tap where it says add more zips, then tap the other file, which is called G apps, P A uh, underscore G apps, etc. etc. Tap on it, then swipe on this thing here to confirm the flashing of those two files. Then once, then once it finishes flashing those two files, and it you should get an option that says reboot system. So go ahead and, and tap on that, and once. And once you've done that, the first boot is gonna take a while for it to um, load. So just be patient and wait for the whole, and just wait for the whole um, tablet to reboot and just wait until you get to the uh, setup for your tablet. And then um, from there, once it finishes um, booting up, you should get a setup screen for Android Five Point Lollipop. Go ahead and, and just um, set up on it. Go ahead and just finish the whole setup and follow all of the steps required for it. Make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection to set up the whole thing. And then um, once you've done that, um, go ahead and um, go ahead and um, during the process, it might ask you to um, back to um, restore all your apps from your last account which I think is a very neat feature in the setup process for Android 5.0. But anyways, um, if it asks you to restore your apps, make sure you do because that will definitely help you out. And then um, from there, once the setup is complete, you should be able to get into your new ROM. And from there, that should be it, guys. And then if you go into your settings, and scroll down to about tablet you should see your Android version is now 5.1 and from there guys that is it that is how to install Android 5.1 lollipop on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 model number GTP 3110 in case you want to fix your root access for this ROM itself be sure to check a link in the video description below where I show you guys how to fix root access for this ROM and um, either way guys that is it that is how to install Android 5.1 lollipop on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 model number GTP 3110 now if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this whatsoever Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. I release a new video every Saturday and Sunday. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demisa45 signing off.